What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and for today's video we'll be looking at the Grand Mafia specifically on family currencies and family insignias. I've done quite a bit of calculation and it took quite a number of months for me to reach a certain level where family insignias are unlocked at mention level 6 in order for me to get a more accurate analysis of how many family currencies is needed for you to reach a mention star of level 10 and reach one of the top few players where you can slowly start doing the family investment and get your tier 5 units and also reaching family star level 10 means that you're able to start building your family council to star level 10 so even though you have just tier 4 units but a level 10 star unit would be quite strong as compared to even like a level 9 because of the different skills that it acquires so over here I have three different sections in my spreadsheet over here that I will bring you guys through but first let's take a look at the spreadsheet here and as you can see there are five building types and what this building type means is that for example for mansion family council and investment center they are the only three singular building type that requires their own separate amount of family currencies and for these are uh, mostly like resource buildings and all of these buildings highlighted of the same color require the exact same amount of family currencies needed and also the bottom here all of these buildings require the same exact same amount of family currencies needed to like, upgrade your building to like, a next star level how i did my calculations are based on this table over here it is quite accurate to say that for each step of a tier higher you require five percent more family currencies which as shown over here I've, for example for mansion step one to star level one is 171 and for each star from zero to one you require five upgrades so basically these are like steps one to five and for each step up it's a multiplication of five percent a compound multiplication of five percent yeah and i also compared to some of my buildings that are on like a random step level and it seems the calculations of 5% increase per step seems to be very accurate up to maybe a plus minus like 3 family currencies I think up until star level 6 which becomes slightly more complicated because of the introduction of the family insignias which I'll cover later on back to what I was saying because this topic is mainly on how many family currencies is needed for you to up your mansion to star level 10 let's take a look at this family currency table and on my table you can see this like green highlighted box and mention level 10 so this is the maximum amount of family currencies that I predict needed to reach a mention star of level 10 and why I say that is because if there is no need for you to max your buildings to star level 9 of any of these like buildings as shown here then obviously the number over here would be reduced yeah, and also how many $5 packs you are required to buy in order to reach mention star level 10 but of course this is highly overrated because there's many many different ways you can get family currencies and the quickest way is of course through governor's wall there's this like daily task that you can do where you either like rob resources uh, massacre day there's a kingpins increase influence and of course using your speed ups so i realized for free players governor's wall is the easiest and quickest way to get the family currencies All right so we have covered on the calculations and i'll just let you take a look at the rest of the different calculations that are made and you need about 35.7 thousand family currencies to level up your mansion to uh, from 0 to 10 um, only only for leveling up your mansion alone so the second part of this video will get slightly more complicated with the introduction of the family insignias and i have a couple of pictures over here to compare uh, why how this can be quite different as compared to the previous like star levels from level uh, level zero to six and as you can see from the calculations over here the number of family currencies needed for step one uh, in your mansion leveling up to six to seven is lesser than the amount seen here um, but there is the element of the family insignias which I think is the reason why 
over the overall family currencies is reduced because you have to exchange your family currencies for family insignias which kind of like um, cost quite a number of family currencies and based on my analysis I think you are able to save a slight amount of family currencies if you are not in a rush and I'll explain why later on because I think the number of family insignias that you, you swap plus the base amount of family currencies needed when you add them together is definitely lower than the amount that you see over here when it's purely based on family currencies but again this is a very complicated thing it depends on how many family currencies you exchange with the family insignias and how rush you want to do it because when you exchange more of these family currencies for family insignias you sort of like get less uh, family insignias in return uh, and there's a lot of like luck element and, and all these kind of things which is as into this like randomness this brings me to my last table on family insignias which there's a lot of like probability and guessing over here but based on what I've um, kind of like received on countless amount of family insignias exchange I think the probability is kind of there and I'll give you a breakdown of what this table means on the family insignias so over here on the right is basically my probability and how I apply randomness to the amount of family insignias that I'll receive which is over here at this column and before we move into this there is some basic things you need to know about family insignias which is there are three I think three different levels but I've not explored the last level so what this level means is that so for example the number of exchanges will will increase based on how many exchanges you have made within the week so for example if you have made an exchange of 20 family insignias I think in a week I don't think it is uh, in a day you will move to the next tier up and you receive one family insignia for free when you reach the 20th exchange which is I think over here yeah and up to the 20th exchange your chances of receiving the family insignias is between one to three insignias and the cost of exchanging these uh, family insignias is 20 family currencies after you reach that, you kind of like move a tier higher, which is from 21 exchanges to 35 exchanges, which uh, per exchange it's increased to 50 family currencies, but you get a range of between 2 to 6 family currencies. But again, the rate of getting the most minimal amount of family currencies is extremely high. For example, I remember I keep getting one family insignia all the time, uh, almost all the time for my exchanges and that would probably be the same if you reach the higher level tiers you probably only receive the lowest amount given which is two family insignias and if that is the majority um, you kind of drop into this deficit because the majority of you getting is like one family insignia between one exchanges one to twenty and two family insignias between twenty one to thirty five you're essentially getting one family insignia for 20 family currencies in the first 20 exchange but you're using 25 family currencies to get two family insignias and of course you can argue that there's a lot of different um, chances the chance of getting more family insignias is doubled from three to six but again I, I'm telling you that the chances of getting anything I think above a four is highly highly difficult or very very low chance a very very low chance and why I have this pretty good like table over here up to 35 is because I'm not sure about the last tier and I'm giving you the theory that exchanging as few as possible in a week is more family currency efficient but if you're in a rush you have to exchange more family insignias which is less less efficient as you can see over here I explain this what this three column means so for the for over here the ratio of family currency to seniors up 20 which means that the total amount of family currencies that you exchange and the estimated amount of family seniors that you obtain over here is uh, how how much do these family seniors cost so for over here if you change exchange up to 20 your family currencies 
uh, is your family consist to insignia ratio is 15.6 to one family insignia and I also mentioned that you receive like one free family insignia when you reach 20 exchange and two free family insignia when you reach 35 exchange so this has been added inside as you can see over here there's a plus one and here there's a plus three so it's a plus one for 20 exchanges and plus two for 35 exchanges I can also give you a, a random number so each time I edit this spreadsheet the red colored digits will change randomly according to the table I have put here so what I do is just to we just type this thing and it will just change automatically and as you can see each time I edit the table there is almost almost 100% chance that changing your family seniors up to 20 times a week is more family currency efficient so I have a picture over here to show you how many family currencies and family seniors is needed to achieve this step 1 upgrade from mention 6 to 7 and the family currencies needed for it is 559 so 738 I'll just do a calculation over here just to show you 738 minus 559 which means that one you have 179 here and the family in senior needed is 11 so let's take a look at what is the ratio for the developers that give you this like number so I'll just divide 11 frequencies and this is the ratio that you would obtain and what I say that you are able or quite likely to save is that if you exchange very 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 few and make use of a lot of the daily discount um, yeah I forgot to mention that every day when you exchange for the family seniors you get a 50% discount so it's always a so it's a 10 family currencies to between 1 to 3 family seniors and if you are able to wait longer and make use of this discount each time each day and this kind of like compiles together and your overall uh, family your overall ratio between family currencies and family seniors will definitely be lower uh, below 15 yes and so I would say that you are able to save about 5% of your family currencies if you are able to slowly wait to obtain these family seniors and play the long game but of course if you are in a rush these numbers over here will definitely be slightly slightly higher I would think it's around 10% higher than the number shown so the in order to reach the mention star of level 10 you have to probably like multiply these numbers by 10% uh, more or 5% more and you get a more accurate number of how many family currencies you are required to reach a uh, mention star level of level 10 and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is quite uh, there's a lot of work that's put into this. I must say, and if you have any questions, do write comments below. I'll try to answer them. I'll be also just screening some of these like spreadsheet uh, at the end so that you all can take note of what to expect. How many different currencies is needed? Just to show you all of the details that I've made, and you can like screenshot and do stuff like that. However, if you think it's better for me to just put it on a Google Drive so that you guys can see, do let me know in the comments as well and I will paste. If there's substantial amount of people who really want to see this actual spreadsheet, I will plug the link into the description box and you guys can access it anytime you want. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy, really enjoy this video and I'll see you guys again real soon.